say thank you to the mayor for you know not only acknowledging my father but making sure that his memory lives on i'd like to thank commissioner norm jones for pushing this through i really appreciate the city of rochester and i've always thought of that as my uh, second home because of all the times that i went to take your child to work day it kind of became a second home um so i, I really appreciate the honor my family appreciates the honor we're happy to be here and we're blessed um my father passed away uh, November 2nd, 2009, and we're approaching a decade of, you know, our father being gone. So the timeliness of this is is not only appropriate, um, but, but so meaningful to our family. Um, the one thing I can say about my dad in terms of his legacy and, and, and what he left behind um, is a passion for your community is not questionable in our family at all whatsoever. There's an expectation there's an obligation, not just to the immediate people in your lives, but to the people outside of it. Um, and I'm gonna share a story, just kind of, you know, tying everything back around to that. Um, before my father had passed, it's probably like 2006, 2007, had a conversation with him because he was reading a book, <clears throat> book I wasn't familiar with. Usually he's into sci-fi, that's his thing. Usually Jurassic Park or something like that. This was a different book, and I asked him about it. I said, you know, what, what's, what's the book you're reading about? What are you, what are you, what are you learning? And um, he said, you know, it's this guy, Barack Obama. He wrote, he wrote a book, it's a senator in Chicago. You know, he's actually, he's talking about becoming president of the US. And I said, first black president? He said, yeah. And I said, wow, that's amazing. How do you like the book? He said, it's great. And I said, what do you think about his chances in terms of being able to do something like that? And he told me, you know, I think, I think what he's trying to do is awesome and he seems like a great guy, but I don't know if my generation will live to see the first black president. And that stuck with me um, because at that point I realized that there at, at some point in your life is an acknowledgement of the factor that you may not be around to benefit from the good you do in this world. And um, Ever since then, I've, I've, I've learned from that lesson that you have to continuously build with hope that when you're gone, you've left something better for everyone around you. And I think my father has definitely done that. And unfortunately, he was not able to enjoy the inauguration and, and presidency of Barack Obama, but that didn't come without people from the city of Rochester bringing him all types of Obama apparel and stuff to leave in his... In, in his um, in his room. Um, it made me think of my dad every time I saw Barack and it always reminded me what a great person we were blessed to have within our life. Um, so from my family, we'll, we, we continue to work as hard as we can to not only you know be a great family and do what we can for one another, but to support the com community in, in, until our last day with the hopes that when we leave, we're leaving something better for everyone that comes beyond us. And I know that at the end of the day, that's what my father would want from all of us as well. So we appreciate the honor, we're thankful, and we look forward to this. Thank you very much.